you want to load in your STL files, you can either go to import and choose your file there, or just drag and drop your part files onto the print bed. I have two part files right now. When I drag them in, they're both highlighted green, click away, turn orange, but I can move the objects around the print bed or use the move command button over here. They're blue right now because I'm larger than my print bed. So I want to scale them, which is the next button. Hold shift, select both, scales right there. I also have scale on the side over here. If I just type in 75%, I've scaled down my objects and now I fit on the print bed. To arrange them nicely on the print bed, I can click this button here and it will auto arrange it to fit on the bed. Next button is rotate. If I select one of my objects and rotate, I can rotate about all uh, three axes. Next one is lay flat. I click on that button. I see white uh, faces on the side of my part. If I actually click on one of the white faces, that is uh, what will lay flat onto the print bed. And then there's measure. On the side over here, you'll see the speed. You can adjust that if you'd like. Uh, material, make sure it's the material selected that you would like to print with, and it's tied to one of the printers that we have loaded in. Supports, I'm going to keep off right now just to show you the error. Infill percentage, you can adjust. And brim is to add uh, brim around the side of your outside of your part to gain better bed adhesion. But if I click slice right now, you will see an error will pop up. Please do not ignore the errors. I'm getting an error here because I'm printing uh, in open space and it will most likely fail and I should have support and even tells you that. So if I change this now to support everywhere and slice one more time, you will see that I now have support underneath my open shell there. And that's the green there. You're ready to export this to a USB stick so that you can actually send it to a printer. Good luck, have fun.